All right, it is currently 1240 on a Sunday. This is my actual last week of classes here at Princeton University for the semester. Right now, I'm going to take my first final. I have four of them to go, and it's gonna be a little bit brutal this week, but I thought I would make another video kind of documenting this process of how I'm preparing for these tests. And yeah, this first one is going to be microeconomics. So luckily I have a cheat sheet for this, meaning I get to put a bunch of equations and either practice problems on it. So I'm about to head to the test and hopefully this one will go well. So obviously Princeton has a unique and interesting way of doing finals because we have them after winter break, which is kind of a downside because that means we have to study after Christmas, but it also means we get a little bit more time because our semesters are shorter. Right now I'm headed to microeconomics, which is going to be my first one. And then I have another one on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Friday. But then after that, I'm done. But yeah, I'm running a little bit late. So I'll see you guys after this exam. down, three more to go. Tomorrow I have my second exam which is philosophy. The best way I'm going to be studying for this is just going through the lecture slides and I'm in the library. Kind of quiet. over to study for econometrics which is going to be on Wednesday so I'm trying to divide up my time today by studying for two subjects and then hopefully that will help me prepare and so I don't have to stress about studying for everything at once so all right right now we're studying for econometrics which is basically like econ and statistics combined but the best way that we're going to be running through these going through the practice test and reviewing the solutions side by side for me I think that's one of the best ways to learn is because if I'm able to look at the solutions and figure out how they did it I'm going to be able to hopefully eventually solve it on my own so really just repetition and just going through these making sure that you understand the formulas and how they got to these answers is going to be the best to get all these concepts memorized right now we're about not even halfway done but we're still grinding bro oh it's about 5 p.m i've been in this library since two so i've definitely been grinding my butt off but I've mentioned this in a lot of my productivity and studying videos, but especially when I have a variety of tests coming up for different types of subjects, but I really think it's best to manage your time by dividing your workload into different types of subjects and categories, depending on what types of tests you have. So I really just spent about an hour, hour and a half studying for philosophy, which is a little bit more knowledge based. And it's something that I'm going to be able to look over and review before the test tomorrow. But something like econometrics, I just spent the majority of my time on that because those are really just practice problems and running through the formulas and making sure you understand the conceptual sides of those math problems. So that's how I've been tackling these types of finals. I also think it's super beneficial to work with partners and groups so that you guys are kind of struggling through the same things together, but different people will know the answers to various types of questions. So combining your brain power will just enhance your IQ level and help you guys be a little bit more productive when it comes to cramming for these finals. And yeah, I think that having four of them is definitely overkill for me. It's something that I have never had to do in my time at Princeton. I usually only have like two or three and then maybe like a take home or an essay but it has been a grind I've been studying more than I have ever done probably um, but it'll be worth it and after this I mean I'm done so I really just have to pay my dues right now and fingers crossed All right, it is currently 11.45 on Tuesday. That means I have my second final, which is going to be philosophy. Now, I mentioned before that this is going to be a short answer essay final, meaning that they're going to give us, I think like eight questions. And then out of those, we have to choose four to respond to. To be honest, the best way I've been studying for this is really just going over the lecture slides, but hopefully there are going to be some topics that I'm going to be more knowledgeable about and be able to write a sufficient essay on. I'm gonna head to Frisk so I can study with Zach for a little bit, but hopefully this final goes well. Last it's one? gonna be okay, bro. Thanks, bro. Probably. I appreciate it. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Low 
low-key that philosophy one was mad brutal it literally took me almost two hours two and a half hours but i had four questions and i literally hand wrote eight pages my hand is literally cramping up right now so i'm gonna call it a break for tonight but two down two more to go two is equal to no children times age so like that's showing like the <laughs> You got this, Gabby. Uh, it is noon on Wednesday. Today, I'm taking my econometrics final. Now, this has honestly been one of the harder courses of my entire person career. It's a lot of math based econ statistics, and just the whole combination of that is a pretty brutal class to take. But the final is honestly going to be three hours long, just like every other test, and there's gonna be a lot of information covered. But I've been studying hard for this test. Me and my boys have definitely been cranking out some time to get all this information in our heads. But once again, we get the cheat sheets, so that's gonna be super helpful. So my test is in an hour, but to be honest, the morning before my test, I don't usually like to do any more studying i'll just do some final review and make sure that i understand the overview and overall concepts of everything so i'm about to do that brush up on some last minute stuff and then head over to the final it is mad break outside like i have not been expecting the weather to be this cold but i'm not having it right now up my exam which was actually surprisingly okay it went a lot better than i expected but right now i'm about to go get a haircut it is so cold right now i'm not having this weather i guess tonight is like beam night or something all right today is friday noon once again i have my very last final <laughs> literally thank god that these tests are over because this week has actually been killing me i have been studying basically every day and my brain is just completely brain dead by now but today's gonna be astronomy this is one of the ones that i need to prepare for the most and i only have like 30 minutes um so this is very bad test taking strategy but the reason i'm saying this is that i'm pdfing this class which at princeton basically means that all you have to do is pass the class and it doesn't count for your gpa and princeton allows you to pdf four classes so this is my first one and hopefully we will pass this test bro my last exam <laughs> i can do this but that might wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, how I prepared for four finals in one week. Let me know what you guys thought down below. <laughs> this was definitely a very stressful week, but I got through it. Let's get this last one done, and then we're off to more videos. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good luck. Oh, do I need a calculator? Oh my gosh. All right, I, need a, I forgot my calculator. Bye. Bye, good luck. Okay, are you gonna go? Okay, bye.